Hi all, this is Dr. C.H. Breslin and this is Wisdom Wednesdays. And this is my special series on my journey with cancer. I'm actually coming to you from the Healing Gardens here at the Morris Cancer Center in San Diego. And it's really glorious. It's, um, it's a wonderful little pick me up after my appointment. Um, very therapeutic with, you know, beautiful flowers and bubbling water and paintings and murals and just a lovely pace, place to kind of relax and settle down before getting into traffic again. I thought I would just catch you up on this cancer journey. I had such beautiful, beautiful, exciting news from my friend who also has multiple myeloma last week and she is in remission. Just such exciting, wonderful news. I'm so happy that sure her cancer journey has not been um, as long as mine and has really been filled with far fewer whoop de doos um, So I'm so happy for her. I think it has been an interesting experience for me because um, I do have a different version of multiple myeloma than she does. Um, and with relapsing and remitting, um, multiple myeloma, unfortunately, oh, look at my hair, yay! <laughs> the wind is really blowy. Um, uh, with this form of multiple myeloma, unfortunately, it's not as responsive to the chemotherapy. So despite the fact that I have, you know, done the chemo now for a year and a half and I've done the bone marrow transplant, I am still not yet in remission. And, um, that's always, that's always tough, you know, there is no comparison. Um, we are all on our own journeys. It doesn't matter whether you have cancer or, or not, like this life that we're living, it's very individual and we can't get in that place of comparison with one another, no matter what. Um, and whether it is, you know, learning to live with multiple myeloma or whether it is exiting an unhealthy relationship, you know, none of us live the same life. We're not clones of one another. So I can be very happy for her. I mean, honestly, I'm ecstatic for her. And I am continuing to um, ride this wave and take it wherever it's going to, to take me. Uh, today was an interesting um, visit with the doctor as I got more of my vaccines my childhood vaccines at, you know, at 58, yay. Um, so no doubt my arms will be hurting by the time I get home, but it does keep me safer. It does, you know, help me be, build my immune system, which is still, you know, pretty much at a uh, circling the drain kind of status. So all in all, I think I'm doing pretty well. My M spike was actually uh, lower than it ever has been uh, during this cancer journey. So that's a great thing. And I am just a firm believer that my commitment not to straddle the fence anymore, you know, you can't be living and dying at the same time. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It's, it cancels the flow. So um, I have really chosen to live and I am just throwing myself into the things that I feel passionate about that honestly that they give me life um, I of course am going to visit my grandson which is just life-giving altogether and am really enjoying the products and services that we're um, launching in Sage Wisdom Institute and you know oh well I have a terminal illness oh well what do you do I guess I'll just have that at the same time as I'm having a damn good life. So for each of you on your individual journeys, I am with you, I see you, I hear you, I acknowledge you, and I look forward to hearing from you. Please do let me know how you're doing in the comments. This is Wisdom Wednesdays, and this is Dr. Sage Breslin.